what hunting strategy does it use? Can we f- figure that out? So that comes down to the um, to that foot stuff. Um, they're relatively efficient compared to a lot of other things, and particularly compared to the herbivores. So that means they're probably looking at long distance rather than speed. And that makes sense, because even though the kind of stuff we're talking about, like I said, maybe they're getting to 20, 25 miles an hour, that's pretty quick, but some of the smaller stuff is going to be a lot faster than that. And remember, that's a real upper estimate. They're they're probably not that quick. But yeah. (laughs) They're just jogging after you. Right. But but they've got they've got the distance so yeah so it, it's much more uh yeah. hyena or wolf-like strategy than like a cheetah going for hyper speed or a lion going for a relatively quick burst and it either gets you or it doesn't and then you the people kind of end just go well like but that's ridiculous like you, they're not even that quick and it's like yeah but if you're hunting something big that's not that quick either and so that, that's a misconception like when i'm talking about juvenile dinosaurs i don't mean just out of the egg and weigh a kilo like a juvenile triceratops can still weigh a ton Mm -hmm. and be the size of a rhino they're not that fast and again if you get a head start on them because as i said i suspect they're nocturnal so because that's the other thing it's really hard to hide a t-rex even lions and tigers struggle to kind of hide in long grass when you're three and a half four meters tall like you you can't hide Maybe in a forest, but even then you're probably going to stick out and it's going to be hard to maneuver between the trees. And we've got big tyrannosaurs living in what we know to have been relatively open environments. Maybe there's some stands of trees, but it's not like a woodland or a forest or anything like that. So they're living in the open and surviving in the open. So they've got to have a way of doing this. And I think it's either or some combination of being nocturnal. So it's you relatively easy to sneak isn't quite the wrong word but approach things to cut the the distance down for your initial strike and then just running them down because yeah maybe a one-ton triceratops or one tranhadrosaur is rather faster than you but if you've covered the first couple of hundred meters to get up to your top speed before they start running then you're probably much closer to them and then will they exhaust faster than you'll keep going well, probably not 100% of the time, no predator's that effective, but I suspect that's what they're doing. And it fits with what we know of their size, their vision, they've got a very good sense of smell. Again, that makes sense at night, it makes less sense if you're diurnal and operating primarily in the day, and you've got to hide this thing. And then we know they're pretty efficient versus relatively fast, but not that efficient prey. Well, there's a bit of a debate of scavenger versus hunter. They're obviously both. A, because we've got things like the bite marks I just described, which is pretty much definitive scavenging. And then we've got the healed bite marks with T-Rex teeth buried in bones, which is pretty much definitive active predation. So we've got evidence of it doing both. But can we possibly figure out what was the primary strategy? That gets much harder. My guess is they're probably still primarily uh, actively carnivorous. Because if you look at stuff that's reliant on being a... Uh, scavenger um i mean the true scavengers like the vultures and condors and stuff like this you have to be ultra long distance very energy efficient travelers you know they're they're thawing, soaring in thermals they're barely using any energy to fly it, it's it's really hard to to get very far 